let's get back to our save file. I don't remember the voices I already made for them. So, let's go for fun. what we want to do. <laughs> uh, we <laughs> Hi! Hi, Pup! Um, not a date day, but we're gonna- we can romance if we wanted. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. We got 44.2. We might wanna- which one should we do, is the question. Who, who can we date? Oh. We broke his heart. Sunita Beauty, we have broken their heart. I don't know what I did. But we got um, MC here. Research, what can we do here? Same thing. So we can research or recon. There's only one here. We can do this one. <clears throat> I have no memory of voices. I've been staring at the back of his head. I can't already failed. I've been staring at the back of his head for for a long time now. Too long. I'm so I'm stuck starting to feel like creepy. I just don't understand it. All he does is sit in that chair by the dark, eating egg sandwiches and doing crosswords puzzles. How does a man like that become the security god for a place like this? As far as I can, his job con consists of greeting the boat to make sure nothing under unauthorized get on or off of it, picking up supplies, li deliveries, and big words. Love that. Taking a long, lazy nap on the island to make sure everything's cool. <coughs> I should drink something. My God. I haven't even started falling, my throat is hurting. Worst game to pick. I wonder what he knows about the research that goes on here. If anything, he doesn't seem to be interested regardless. Oh my god, I need a drink. <coughs> okay, give me a moment everyone. If anyone joins, just say, I'm dying. <laughs> I need a drink. I'll be really quick. that goes on here. If anything, he doesn't seem to be interested regardless. I decide it's time to get to know this island bouncer and go to join him at the dock. I sit next to Zane, me on the island, him in that chair. He's not wearing his big coat and the short sleeve shirt allows me to notice for the first time how surpri surprising most of all he is. I'm just checking him out at this point. I never truly thought of him as a security guard, a security in this bodyguard sense. But now, squirting at, squirting at him any sideways, 
trying not to stare too obviously, I begin to see him in a new light. I'm t checking out Zane. Great. <laughs> I plucked up the courage to talk. Hey Zane, how are you? I don't know if I, I did a voice for him. Um, are you trying to start a conversation? <laughs> He says this while looking up from his crossword puzzle. Oh, um, I suppose I am, yes. I don't get to chat with, chat to humans much in my job. Research, research assistant 125. He rolls the words out like he's reading them. Oh, yes, I guess that's me. Um, so, what does that number stand for anyhow? You don't know. He asks Mo Mo no, totally. Eyes still glued to his crosswords puzzle. No, actually, to be honest, Zane, I don't know much about. N not, I don't know much at all. There's a def def de defined lack of inter sharing on this project. Which project would that be? Um, this one, the whole research project that's going on, is there more than one? Depends who you ask. Okay. You, I, I just, asking you, what do you mean? I don't understand your job. I don't need to. I don't care about things I don't need to. Mood. Zane is a mood. What do you care, what do you care about? Zane looks at me for the first time. Are we having a moment? You really want to talk, don't you? Well, that's not much else to do here besides I'm interested in it at all, aren't you? What is that face in chat? That's like a nightmare Mickey Mouse. My, in my interest consistent of what, what dinner and when my next puzzle book coming when it's coming you get it delivered <laughs> oh my god comes come on comes with the mail he's back to not looking at me at all i ruined it i don't <laughs> i'm just looking at chat the mail you mean the the pro, pro parcels and the letters yeah the letters. Who would go to the trouble of sending a mail all the way out here when we have email? I laugh, but Zane looks very serious. Anime girl. <laughs> Look at chat. It's safer sending mail the old fashioned way. With email, there's a virus, hacker, worm, cyber, cyber terrorists. I get the feeling he's not very tech sa savory. Yeah, but anyway, anyone can open and read a letter, right? No, if I'm around. And besides, who would su suspect that something important would be in a fragrant pink elevator? I can read. <laughs> I just see a lot of emotes. Love that. There's an awkward science. Silence. Of course, being my usual social and intimate self, I desperated to feel it. Need any help with that crossword? I'm pretty good at good. I can even do um, the cryptic puzzle in the daily inquiry. I don't read that. Put some salt on the creeper and yum. Oh, pup! I don't think you put salt on creepers. The line usually, usually gains me a little kiddos, but Zane simply ignores me. I decide to just come out and say what's on my mind. I mean, it can't make things more awkward than they already are. Zane, have you ever noticed anything strange going on here? Cats behaving weirdly? I mean, last, last stream we got drunk with a cat. Zane suddenly looks up, his eyes locking straight on mine, unwavering and hard. No, 
have you. Well, n no, not exactly, but he is looking at me properly for the first time since we met. I have definitely captured his attention, but I'm too nervous to follow with it through. Back out, back out, code red. I'm too, I'm just being silly. The lack of human comfy can get to me. Gives me a draft of ideas. Shut Charles. He's still staring at me, as though he's trying to read my mind. He's a mind reader. Sometimes, when I'm out tagging, I feel like they're playing games on me. Like children, hide and seek. That kind of thing. Some of the cats might be cleverer than any of us. Give them credit for it. Now it's my turn to be ingrained. In what way? They know when to stay out of the sun. You're going pink. That mo the moment- Oh, I'm blushing, am I? The moment- The moment, if there was one, is over. I decided maybe Zane isn't the best person to talk to about my concerns. Feeling unwanted and slightly directed, I decide to head back to the camp. I stand up and brush the sand off me. What's a five letter word for salted? Alone. Zane silently scribbles in his book as I leave. <laughs> wow. That was awkward. Did that did not gain anything for us. Oh, it did. <laughs> um, what should we do next? I don't think we have anything else here. Well played. Yeah, we don't have anything here. So we could... Research. And we can do research 16 or 12. Or we can go on a date. Which one should we go for? Which one should I go for? I just see emoji. Uh, we'll do research. Exactly what I meant. Cat. Come on, Kara. Never mind all that. We have work to do. I am working. I'm supposed to be cooking for this evening. I mean, work for the adventuring boss to tea. Oh, of course you do. This is the cat that we got drunk with. 
Ah, uh, come on. Don't be a, a stretch of a ball. I'm sorry, MC, but I can't. I'm very busy here. It, it's going to take hours to, to defrost and breathe this meat from the ma mainland. Well, if you come with me, you may end up providing a such tasty dish in half of the time. What you say, Kaha? You're up for the ca- Crack I can't read. What are you saying? You mean I should just bunk off? That's the spirit. Strip off your apron and let's hit the trail. But I can't just... What if someone comes in looking for me? Leave them a note. Gone fishing. B. There's a B. Maybe it's the heat, but I'm overcoming. I, I've overcome with the moment of madness. Well, okay then. Your wild Irish rubber. I'm all yours. I can't do an Irish person. Whoa, look at a picture. Ah, there's a thought. Before I can answer, he's looked into the, the flickering of the forest behind the clay cooking pits. I wipe off my apron and follow behind. Wait, much. Look, look. It's too hard to run. Then we're really out of to cool ourselves off, eh? Hey? You led me up to the cliff to push me off. And without warning, he takes a running jump off, oh god, off the edge to see him flying through the air and watch me memorized as he cuts through the water. I. Okay. Oh no, Muffry, Muffry, are you okay? Don't panic, I'm coming. I kick off my flip flops and, sh and shorts and follow him into the water. I'm surprised at how shallow it is and that I'm easily above the two stand. Muff, where are you? I fr frantically search about. Hearing for his safety and suddenly feel something rush against my leg, making me scream out loud. I'm not going to scream. What's that? I look down into the, into the clear water to see MCs speeding along the seabed like a shark, fast and sleek, and suddenly breaking up, breaking up through the surface with something in his mouth. He's got a fish. MC, you can swim? What on earth is that thing? Oh my. It's a fish! Duh. I can see he's smiling even though the spot, spot, spot is in the way. You can fish? He spits the fish back into the water. There truly is no end to my talents, Kara. You can say that again, but, but I have so many questions. I don't even know where to start. Catch your breath, Kara. I know I'm extraordinary company, but you need to exercise a little bit to um, re retrenching, or you'll be swanning on me next. Relax, the salt water is very wrong. I can't read. <laughs> I copy MC and we both lie up with our backs to the surface. It's very calming and the and tranquil and I'm finally able to collect my thoughts. I realise I've not had this much clarity in a long time. This is so cool. I know. Trixie took me here first, calls it the Panda Pearl Pool. Oh, you can all swim then? I thought cats. Before I can even finish my sentence, MC cuts him. It's a common misconfraction. That cat can't swim, as you see. It's another thing we exhale. If you show up. I can read. So humble, too. As Nana MC used to say, if you got the trumpet, blow it. What about the fish? Where did it, they come from? There are no birds or fish on this island. It's one of the first things they tell you in the... In, uh, in, uh, I'm really I'm 
read them. It's not just because they don't know. Don't know what? Ah, it's better if I just show you. Come on, Kara, follow me. We swim for a while, with them see leading the way with purpose, and then he stops. Well, notice anything interesting? Well, the water is much cooler and deeper here. Uh-huh. Anything else? Can you feel anything? I stand perfectly still for a moment and begin to feel a strange sensation around my leg, like a warm prickling under the water. MC, are you peeing? <laughs> Don't be cold. Kara, it's a current. Look over there. I refocus my eyes until they they see what see that what I thought was a rock shallow. It's moving. It comes closer into focus and I realize it's a swallow of small fish dottering in and out of one particular spot. What is that? I don't understand what I'm looking at. It isn't enough to see. Just see, Kara. To experience. Do you always have to understand everything? Yes. This is why I wear a lab coat. Yes. That's my job. That's who I am, MC. I am a scientist. It's my DNA to seek to understand. Come on, then. Scientists. Let's take a closer look. We move close to the area where the fish are gathered. I put my hand down and realize I can touch them and even pick them up. But something is stopping them from swimming further the island. MC, we need to get going. I'm going to be in big trouble if I'm away for any longer. But thank you for showing me this. I'm definitely going to come back here and try and understand it. Okay, it gives me another thing to come back to. I wouldn't waste the time, Gara. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be a waste. I'm committed to find, finding out all I... He cuts, me across, he cuts across with me as I'm speaking. I meant coming back to this particular spot. The fishes won't be here. Oh, I see. It's only at a certain times. And difficult location. It changes all the time. There's no patterns to it either. So you just see sticking pins in maps, Kara. I brought you here because I saw them this morning. Chances are they'll be gone by this afternoon. The disappointment must have been pl planted on my face because MC switches the lanes super fast to dis distract me. Okay, Kara, it's time to strip off. What? Huh? <laughs> that t-shirt would make a lovely net. Let's go fishing. Oh, I see. Okay, go fish or go home. We want, we're on a date. Last time, we want it. It's a perfect date. We need to go, we need to go fishing, I say. Let's go fishing. I whipped off, I wiped off my top and used it as a net to scoop up any as many fish as possible and quite effective. Great idea, Morph. Now you can rush to all up a tasty fish. Supper in no time at all. You'll get the into in uh, cold talk. You'll get to enjoy my company for an extra hour. Win win card Kara. Okay, so now I have a little challenge for you. Yeah. Kara is music to my ears. That's a lips that I like more than a granted throne. Well, it's hardly a granted, more of a brain teaser. How am I going to explain to the rest of my team this ground pool ocean offering? Why tell them anything at all? Because they're going to notice that we're eating something that wasn't on the delivery list or the menu rotor and tasted way too fresh for something recently defrosted. You worry far too much about things that really doesn't matter, Carla. I know who's right. 
I could do with loosening up a little, but this is pretty big dilemma, really. Maybe I ought to tell a professional Paul Poe about this. What's the harm? Mac has stopped flashing around and looks at me squirrely in the eyes. There would be harm, Kara. Trust me on that. Oh. Obviously, sorry. I don't mean to tell him about you or anything that would endanger any of us. Just that I noticed this swarm of fishes and I took some. End of. The cat will eat your fish. You get. The cat will eat your fish. You get. Oh. Well. Yeah. I mean that works. You really, you really think you could mention a phenomenon like this, and that would be the end of it? That he would, he wouldn't start putting all manner of in investigation and big words, dude. MC, this in place. You are touching Nani, my friend. I feel like I feel myself blush. I am being a bit naive. But I don't like the thought of lying. So what? So what do you suggest? That if you know so much about everything, give me a, a plausible story and I'll follow through. MC lets out a wild howl as walks, flashes walks at me. Now that's what I like to hear, you implausible daredevil, you. I splash him back in a furious water fight in court. You are making such a ruckus. I'm amazed that no one comes to check what's going on. I'm having a water fight with a cat. After a good ten minutes of laughter and play, we run out of the street stream and float in the boiled warm water. Let's hear it then. Ask, what's my cover story? It's a very simple case of bruzzle buffering. Okay. Make a simple but a delicious meal, and if anyone should ask where the fish comes from, shrug your shoulders and ask the same question. Huh? It's all the poker face. You remain completely in and ask the same question. Yeah, I wondered that too. Where did the fish come from? They're delicious. Really? Trust me, Kara, as a cat who is... Fair a risk in one of his nine lives, the simpler you keep it, the more they buy it. And if they ask you where you got them from, you tell them the fridge. Simple. I feel quite giddy at the process of getting away from a ruse. Okay, more. Let's gather the supper. We have an abandoned abortion in no time. And I pull my cat back to the kitchen in, in good time to make a tasty meal for everyone. And a little extra for my, my fair line house. Ready, nearly undressed, early undressed for hiking. I oh, was doing a field field work this morning. I'm not sure why I have anything that would pass for hiking gear. To be honest, some sturdy shoes would be good. Oh well, lab coats and trainers. It is them um, as usual. Really. A measure from the professor lights up on my camera a lot. Go. I'm set to go. I forgot his voice. Oops. Set to go. I'm waiting outside. Nope. <laughs> I don't like that one. I am serious. Forgot his voice. Set to go. I'm waiting outside my tent. Mm. Are you look at his face? There we go. Ah, uh, Jesse. Are you ready for a field trip today? Oh yeah. So of course, professional. May I ask where we're going? Somewhere I think you'll find very interesting. The professor hands me a backpack. Here, take this bag. 
it's full in, it's very full, but surprisingly light. Paul, Paul Poe has set off at a brisk black pace, pulling back to me over his shoulder. This way! I run to catch him up. After some serious walking with me, struggling to keep up, the professor stops abruptly and to listen. Do you hear that? There's a distant tone of bubbling water. Well, I must there. Secretly, I'm relieved, as I don't think I could go much further. Do the little cat climbing? Climbing? I had my dismay. Where does he get his energy from? It's just at the top there. It's not difficult to climb as it looks. We are in front of the almost mortal rock face. Just copy me. We clumber up exportingly. I managed to find a spot that will support my foot and start to climb. I make a little progress before slipping and falling flat on my thumb. I try again. This time I take it slow. Again, I fall. What happened to the benefits of catu catuification of others keeping going on about? The profession notices I'm having trouble and holds a hand out for me. I'm ready to climb up, just enough to take hold of him. And he lifts me the rest of the way. His strength is impressive. Curious, even. Not a fan of climbing, eh? Can't say I've done much of it, Professor. I have two guinea pigs drinking water in the room. <laughs> Come along then, I can get you there. It pretty much pulls me all the way to the top, and then leads me to the entrance of a small cave. The sound of running water is very loud now. We instantly see why the nature of spring has cooked its way through the rock and created a beautiful castle of sparkling clear water. It looks delicious. I kneel down without thinking and begin to drink. It tastes amazing. As I come full up for breath, I see the professor looking at me with suppression. Oh. You should know better. It is never wise to under any to eager ingest something that is unproven. And here on this island, it would be productive to exercise more caution than usually. I feel embarrassed at my lack of concentration. Yes, um, of course, uh, I wasn't thinking. I felt so thirsty and it looked so good. I do understand. Many have made the same error. Contrary to you, this is tried and tested for safe conversion. It's good, don't you think? My body feels suddenly rejoined and enjoying. I feel like I could climb any wall. It's incredible. I feel fantastic. What in it? We don't know. That's why we're here. We need more samples. We've been studying, studying this water for months now, and we still know very little about it. Check your bag. I open my bag, it's full of brims and empty plastic bottles. We'll need to fill all of those with water. You're going to need as much as we can carry. I do what he say. By the time we're all the bottle are full and put back in the bag, it weighs a ton, a ton but I feel like I can lift anything. The effect of the water is powerful. The professor has also packed his own week. Rucksack of bottles. That should do do done up us now. Let's get back those back. <clears throat> we make our way back to the rock face and back to the camp. I have no problem keeping up with the professional. I feel like I could run all the way. However, as we get close to home, I feel I start to feel the effect wear off. My bag becomes unbearable, heavy, and the final limp into the camp. 
It's torture. I need to rest. This good cat will rest now because we don't want a bad effect. You had a lovely nap and wake up feeling well fresh. Yendry has been restored. Magic. A. Let's see what we want to do now. Um, we could go on another. Can we go on another date? I feel like he's the only one I can date at the moment. Do we have anything here? It takes one more. What the heck? There's a ninja cat. Cool. We can't do any of them. We can do- we can finish this one up. When do you complete your research, your time on the Kyla would come to the end. Uh -huh. Oh! No! I have more time- I have more to do! <laughs> we are not doing that. We need to go on more dates. I am really confused why this is a heart broken heart. It's a boot. It's too beautiful a day to be saving it, slaving in the hot lab. So when Morph invited me to for a stroll, it was easy to say yes. Not that I needed more in intro to spend time with him. He's very engaging to come to you. We've come to one of my favourite spots where the cliff sweeps towards over the blue water. Suddenly and without with any warning, MC plunges over the top of the towering rocks. I run to the cliff edge with my heart in my mouth. My heart in my mouth. And to see what's happening. And they uh, is a sight I still haven't got it, gotten used to. He's in the water, more outer than cap, waving me to follow. Jump, Kara! Jump! Sure, the water grand. MC. I'm shocked by the shrillness of my voice. I haven't tre trended to be quite such a strength. I was am I'm aiming for a stern. Admonishment. I can read. <laughs> That's so dangerous. You could do yourself a some, do yourself serious injury or worse, from much of a height. Ops, come on, Kara. You won't get to see the little surprise I have in store. You already surprised me enough for one one day. <laughs> one of us is meant to be the pussy. Uh, this I am filled with an ingrain that takes over my body, and before I know it, I am halfway between lunch and water, bracing for impact. Raptor, <laughs> this way. I am still catching my breath as I'm seeing heads deeper under the, the surface. My mind is saying, "No, this is ridic ridiculous." Get back to land this instant, but my body is following the iris cat. My eyes take a moment to adore thrust, and when they do, I can hardly believe what I'm looking at. It's a ship. As we approach from the structure, it looks pretty much intact. I can see the names of the the reef side, and though faded and worn away in parts. And the words are unmistakable. Kitty desires. My head is swimming due to the excitement and lack of oxygen. I floated to the surface to catch my breath. Kitty desire. I feel like I know that name. MC unfortunately bobs up to join me on the surface. <laughs> Goal. Surprised. A shipwreck. Here? This is a very old island, Kara. 
A lot has happened here. But how did a ship even get here before the path was made? Hey, don't ask me, Kara. It's just in it's just in here for go go roll. MC smiles and drives back into the murky depths. I follow. A flailing flesh back bag in conversion to MC Fleek. Picture. I mean he's a cat. I tried to get closer and look at the the wreck age. It's a big ship, likely to trading, fashion, judging from the sides. It's hard to tell how old it is. But it certainly isn't modern. Maybe 18th, 19th century? century? When we entered the ship from the huge hole in the stern, I realised that a lot of the vessels is actually on land. And it's avarious. It ran a score after it, it was damaged at sea. There's not much time to ponder and the motion Mr. I can't read sugar. What happened is MC is truck tugging at my t-shirt with his right paw while gesturing with his other paw outstretched to the cabin. He wants me to enter. I'm grateful for the air trapped inside and gasp for air. Hey Gara, luck! Hang on, let me catch my. But he has already ducked into the next cell. How is he not out of breath? I realise his ability to swim underwater is unusually strong, but he's barely breaks the surface at all. In here, through the hole. He sounds really excited, and as I enter, I see why. There, in the centre of the cabin, is a chest. A wedge between the wall and the surprisingly well presented writing desk. The only thing I have a guinea pig squeaking. The only thing concerning it was the, from the fate falling and being buried in the sand. Treasure chest. I sound like a giddy child and feel embarrassed, but MC joins in my glee. And suddenly, we're cheering and laughing. Go on then, up in it, Kara. Okay. It's empty. What are you waiting for? The key. Ah, does it need one? Well, of course it does. It more. It's locked. Treasure treasure. Can you not just break it the lock? Who do you think I am? What do, you, what do you mean? I can't say that. I don't know about that, but you do know you are a very clever scientist. Who's first, 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 first to, for knowledge. Matches my first for gar grog. So you get yours and I'll go get mine. The Mongol grin before the Mongol grins before dotting into the next cabin, and I hear familiar clicking of bottles. Shortly after, I decide to try the lock anyway. While well, MC is getting his, I look around for something, anything I could le level it with, and I am disappointed. Everything except the chest and desk must have been washed away as a long time ago. We have to come back with the, some tools and to tackle that lock. Most the cut. There comes no response. MC is already still busy with his looting and pillaging. So I decide to swim to the beach and get a better look at this wreck of uh, from land. When I can take the scene properly, I can make out what looks like another cod ship just a bit further down the beach. I can hardly believe what I'm seeing. One of the huge sea vessels finding its way to this island is a strange enough, but two meeting the same unhappy fate is more than my brain can process. The proximity of the pair would suggest a collision of some kind. Possible the second vessel could have been a pirate ship. Maybe it was attacking the mushroom vessel? I get the feeling I'm looking at the consertion of a very intense, interesting story here. 
I wonder why Professor Popo didn't tell me about him. Obviously, yes. He, he must have been aware of two vessels. My nose for inch read. Intro has started to twitch, and I am burning to know more. I decided to take some of the debris, 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 printing a small chunk of metal and pocket it for later, agonizing the lab. When I'm satisfied that I'm thoroughly combined with each for specimen and have savaged anything that of interest, I realize that I haven't seen MC for quite a while. My heart stops and my hair on my neck stands on end. How could I have been so wrapped up in my work that I neglected to keep an eye on my friend? MC. I met with science and still water. I run back toward Kitty's desire, my heart thumping in my chest. MC. I jump in the sea and swim back to the stern of the ship. There doesn't seem to be any life around here. Oh god, I killed him. I break through the surface with a, cr a, with a cu cu choke and try to call out again, but my throat is hoarse with full of salt water. Where? I catch a glimpse of a shadow out of the crunch of my eyes, crawling along the seabed. I drive. I, tr I dive under to get a better look and see in turn that it is the Irish cat sort 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 stalking and prowling as he went on the island. I quickly grab him by the scuff and um, the, of the neck and drag him back to the store. MC, you loon! What on earth were you playing at? I catch my breath and check on him, but he's happily rolling on his back in the sand. Me? I was just having a grand time until you manhandled me with those big meaty paws of yours. Oh. Choices. Um, I don't know. I feel like if I got serious, it might make it a bit. He, he, he'll get angry. But if I let it go, it'll be more relaxed. Oh no, I don't know which one. Do I tell him to get serious or just let it go? Yeah, 
Yes, I suppose so. And you bring some spice to what might otherwise be a rather bland scientist taste. MC Green's eyes glitter in the sunlight, and he throws me a wink. Come on then, washbucker. I need something to eat after all that adventuring. I'll walk you back to camp if you promise to save a bite for your friend or your tour guide. We're getting flirty now. Ooh, yes! New unlock, a pirate tail. Extra. Okay. told me the shipwreck where I was looking for clues. It's what happened here, in case it's useful for my work under the antidote. Okay, it works out anyway. I don't really know what I'm looking for. I feel like, I feel a bit like a kid with my bucket and script spade. Digging in the sand. Who the hell are you, Captain Corn? Having fun? Having, no. In your voice, Captain Cord. Having fun. The voice startled me. It's unfamiliar, and I can't see who it belongs to, so I'm on my guard. Who's that? Show yourself. I've, I've nothing to hide, but I am naturally wary of your in intention. But you give me your word of honor that you mean me no harm. Um, yes, you have my word, my, my, my word of honor. I feel like a cub scout. I thank you at your own word. I am happy to make you a, a quantum son, Captain Corn. Hello. <laughs> a tail sleek gray cat has stepped from behind the raccoon and it but bowing in front of me. I feel up, up urge to bow back to him. I'm pleased to meet you, Captain. Do you live here? In the wreckage, I mean. I think I lived elsewhere, but I've been here for a long time. I'm trying to find my crew. I realise he's wearing a vintage nev 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 uniform. I'm not expert on military history, but I guess it's from the 18th thousands. Ah, uh, Captain, did you arrive on one of those shipwrecks? Yes, a Captain the Kitty to liars, but I fear I let my men down. Where are they? I have been stitching. He seems quite disjointed. What happened? Looks like you had a bit of a rush in. Running! My eyes mentally set upon the attack more, more, more like disgrace of my vessel is a pirate ship. Oh my god, Captain Libby. I feel like Libby's a girl name. Yeah. Be careful who you call a name, Corn. They might just take on Brunch, and then the cat will really have to be tongue. Another cat has appeared. A petal, long-haired tabby. Also dresses in some kind of costume. Indef indefinitely yourself, stranger. The new cat has turned to me. Hello, my name is Jesse, and this is my and this is Captain. I know who he is, all right. What are you doing in my domain, Jesse? State your business. I was just digging around, not sure what for. I certainly didn't know it was your domain. It's not. This is un claimed land as yet. I thought that the ownership belongs to this root and cut throat. Hang on, hang on, let's not get over excited. 
Who's a Rudge? And that's not a nice thing to say about a fellow cat. Do not put me in the same sentence as them. Mostly in or do well. She is a pirate. Calm yourself, Corny. Right now, I'm more interested in what this human is digging for. Oh, nothing in particular. Do you really? Are you really a pirate? I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. Refuse to discuss my business in a company of this pompous good goody two paws. If you wish to speak with me, you'll need to see me alone. Great. And off she walks with her tail in the air. Oh no! Thank goodness that rumor has left us. However, she does make a point if you wish to discuss what really happened to you. You are going to have to make a choice. Her story or mine. Oh, right. Oh, which one? I don't know. Um, do you want to hear his story or then her story? A pirate or more? I feel like a pirate. <laughs> I'm really interested in pirates. Plus, there's treasure. There's a treasure chest too. I feel like it's a Libby's. I'm gonna go to Libby's. Where are you even entering, Captain Corn? I turn and chase after the long-haired tabby of a real-life pirate who would pass up the opportunity to interview a to a washbuckering freebooter. Excuse me, Miss Pirate. As we reach the forest, the cat stops in her tracks and turns to face me. She's straightening herself up onto her hind leg and takes an upborn bow. Lib Lady Elizabeth Peach Ruford. I can't read. <laughs> I'm taken aback from her sudden transformation from savvy to lady. My. Oh, she's gonna say a lot of big words, isn't it? My subordinates is call me Captain. My bookens call me Libby. She, re she returns to all fours. Pleased to meet you, Captain. It truly is an honor. Enough of the nice talk, human. You wanna hear my story? Why well, you best sit down? It's not for the faint hearted. As I do as I told and sit on the muddy ground. I suppose the first thing you want to know is how to refine your young lady of noble birth becomes a bank conscience with such a fearsome reputation notion I can read. I want to hear everything that is if you are happy to tell me. It would make a change talk to anyone other than that old windbag. Captain Corn. The very same. It was like of him that my poor brave mother escaped from. With her baby in arms and now only the clothes on her back. She threw a lot a lot in the pack run. Rather than stay in their in their cheating coward world. A parum? A pirate. Not just any pirate, mind you. My father was the wildest sea wolf of all. Feared and respected and loved. Your father was. I called him that. Because he raised me as his own. My mother brought me to him when I was not yet a year old. And he took me in without question, because of his love for her. Never once did he treat me any less than I, as if I, I was his natural child. I never knew my blood father, but I heard enough to know he was the cruelest, meanest beast. Words by far than any I've danced with another act. He was a pair of realms, and he was daddy's per-sutringing payroll for getting bills passed 
I really should have had more security. They were a law, law unto themselves. Those men, Honhawagos, and a lot of them. But I disagree, my father brought me up as a water rat, proper by the time I was ten. There was nothing I knew, didn't know about sailing. By 16, I was running my own ship, the catfish, and taking men, no, no prey, no pay, runs. I was good, if I say to myself, and I gained a, re a reputation for bringing home the bounty. I uh, banished to, I dreamed of being the rich as daddy personalized himself. Before my 21st birthday. So how did you end up here, Captain? We've been going through a lean, a lean patch. Not just us. It was the same of all men were hungry. And worse still, thirsty. We still despite the pirate of his grog. So long without a muttering rumble through the ranks. When one of my boys put forward the proposal that we will try our looks, tackling on the desire, a Kitty Fisher merchant ship, my first reaction was a stone wall. Normally we didn't touch a touch of Fisher. We're too well rigged to just well armed. So you can't outrun them, and you can't overpower them. However, despite Time calls for desperate measures, and I just decided to think it for through a bit more. Fishers are big, strong, but their captain are poor, poor, poorless, poorless. As soon as they go off their designed route, get them out of the open water, and they're lost in the lands. That's the trouble of a rich bloke. They can afford to buy the best fellas. Vessels, but they don't know how to sail them. I ain't got no problem with Daddy's personality, in spite of compassion he keeps for his ships. And well stocked, and my men were starving. So it seems only fair as we take from the fat and give to the lead. I put my hand in the air to sign for me. I have a question. Captain Libby, give me an ex extra scripted look. What are you waving at? Sorry, but you keep measuring a daddy who is he? Who is Daddy Person Ring? God. Only the fattest cat of them all. The land border had the coin of it change the word world. And what does he do? He invests in cat creams and powders. He was the um, he was a cosmic tycoon. He was an old fool with that. Too many money, not enough sense. Do you want to sit around and talk about it, things that don't matter? Or do you want to hear the rest of my story? I'm sorry. Yes, please can do this lady is talking so much. So me and Jim, that's my cabin lad, grew up chop charts. It made a plan. The idea was to tack track the desire from the safe distance without being spotted. And when we reached the midway point and furthest from the la land either way, tried to banish to her into living her path. We used those techrons met many times tied them out and even pushing off horses was whether turned out so much to the better of us course the gods were really on our side on the raid day the heights of the summer should have meant calm seas all the way but now the thick black clouds loomed over us darkening by the minute by the time we were chasing the desire, I would, I could barely see my own hand in front of my face. I realized the storm has now became our enemy too. 
the light from the sea had taught me a bit well about weather, but this was for something else. The sea raged, and the lightning flashed, and we know our vessel could not take this battle. Link. The only way of for any of us to survive would be to abandon the catfish and call a truce with the Mushroom chance. But we had to bounce board the desire. We drowned our weapons and raised off arms above our heads. But out comes that coward born mucket raised, ready to blow us a wet way. He knew he was surrendering, but he came to us anyway. He derunged and scorched us all, his crew as well as mine. And in the ensuring rumpers, we are all faced. I don't know what happened next. I woke up on on that land with no idea how long I'll be in there. But it didn't take long to see that we were gone from one bad, bad situation into a far worse one. We imagined somehow to work together, us and the twelfth, and get as many men as possible out of the water and onto dry land. We savaged all we could and made our camps as we, as we saw, saw fit. Them on higher ground, us by the water edge by the beach, beach here. No pirate want to be far from, from away from the sea for, for long. And that, not that, it helped us in the end. This place was cursed and there were things that wasn't right. Do you mean the cats? They were st star starving the men. They tried to hunt, but they were nothing here. We never saw a bird or bear or any kind of beast other than them cats. I tried my best to keep them from them, the invertebrate world. I broke around them and made all manner of strews and soup from the plants and tubers I gathered. But they became observed with meat. All I could do is, in the end, was watch in horror as the nightmare engulfed us all. Only a few of us didn't scrubble and could, wouldn't take part of the savage. But even so, we wasn't spared. All of it took all at one scratch, one small wipe of a claw, and it changed began. As the sun shine upon her tiny cat face it glished them and I can see she's crying I'm not sure how to handle this how to I comfort her she is fearless pilot pirate after all even though right now she looks like a little lost cat I'm so sorry for what happened to you and your crew captain I'm, I'm working very hard to put things right be patient, and I give you my word that all will be restored to how it should be. I need to go. She sobbed, sobbed, sobbed into the forest, and before she disappears, she half turns. Libby, you can call me Libby. I'm gonna... 